I'm doing a food rescue and I thought I would try to take everybody with me to go live today. So we're just gonna give this a try and see how it goes. I'm at the grocery store now loading up my, my vehicle. So uh, I'll check this from time to time and you guys can just watch what I'm doing. I've got so, there's so much food here today. It's a little bit outrageous. I don't know how I'm gonna fit it in my, my vehicle. When we pick up food from the grocery store, we have to write down what department each box is, like dairy or bakery, and how much it weighs to enter that information into an app for the rescue organization afterwards. In addition to that, with this live, I wanted to show the viewers what was in each box before I packed it in my car. There was so much food, I was worried about fitting it all in. Um, so I was kind of concerned about space in my car as well just trying to make sure everything fit in there and I was squeezing boxes into every available space. As you can see, it was a huge pickup, lots of dairy, lots of produce. Uh, that's fancy cheese there I'm showing. Yeah, it just went on and on and on. Here's some salads from the deli. Those are always in big demand. Any kind of prepared food goes like that. Probably our second most popular type of food is meat, which was that little box that I had after. We have always tons of produce. I'm not sure why that is, but maybe it's because the produce section is so large and it is perishable. It goes bad. And we are always so grateful because it's very expensive these days to buy fresh produce. And this is where another truck came in, this recycling truck. It made me nervous. So I basically just turned off the live and stopped recording, but I was almost done anyway. Today, I'm stocking a community fridge with rescue food, and I thought I would go live so you all can see what it looks like. Real time, this is it. I better go pretty fast because you know, this, these are, are pretty busy. I happen to come across one that doesn't have a lot of people. So I basically started unloading the box. This one was bread products and showing each item to the camera live. If you're interested, you could watch the entire live on my channel on another platform that starts with yt um it's interrupting chicken 9120 on that platform but i show each item and then pack it into the fridge while i'm doing this there are patrons coming and kind of waiting off camera to get stuff so it kind of got a little bit awkward over time in case anyone here is new and doesn't know what a community fridge and community pantry is these are fridges and pantries that usually sit outside and they're available for anyone to come take food or give food 24 hours a day, no strings attached. You can take whatever you need and uh, we encourage people to take all that they need. And I just love filling up the fridges. Here it's with the rescued food. Um, it just makes me feel so good. This made my day to be able to do this. As you can see, I filled up the fridge with lots of produce in there. Now I've got more baked goods I'm putting in the pantry. I also have bananas in the pantry. Looks like some lettuce here. If I remember some of those, oh, lettuces and herbs were a little wilted, but mostly still edible. I try to throw away anything that is inedible or compost in this case, but anything that's maybe questionable I usually still leave it in there I can't remember but I think I got really nervous at this point because lots of people were waiting so I just abruptly signed off on the live Me signing off thank you all for being here we're back at fridge number two but yes I went live again at the next fridge I went to I was a live machine that day I think I went live for a whole hour I was really enjoying showing everybody all what I do to fill up the fridges I remember a lot of non-dairy milk in the boxes that I was unpacking into this fridge. There's some kids yogurts in there. I think this was cut up pineapple slices I put in there. I don't know why the quality of this video is so bad compared to the other ones. I apologize for that. I see some of those prepared salads in this fridge and then some regular milk as well. In the freezer, I put a bunch of meat. You can't see it very well. We always put fresh meat in the freezer so that it lasts a little bit longer. And then, oh my gosh, I had this whole bin of apples. I filled up the drawers with apples. And then the fridge was full, so I filled up the pantry. And then I was done with all my food, so I just showed how I have to break up the boxes at the end of the day, and I take them home to recycle them in my home recycling. And that's my day, doing a big food rescue.